welcome to Lubera, the Swiss fruit and berry plant producers and breeders. My name is Markus Kobold, I'm founder of Lubera and today we are talking about how to prune a ever-blooming climbing rose. It can be a normal climbing rose, it can be a mini patio climbing uh, rose or o also one of our rosesi climbing roses. The most important thing uh, is to know that you have some general shoots, main shoots, and all the side shoots of these main shoots you have to cut down to one, two boots, eyes. You can see the eyes here. Come and look here yes. and here. You see one, two, now developing from every little stem we have left on the main stem. This one is too long. If everything would be like this, we would have too many side shoots again, too many blooms, and the quality of the blooms wouldn't be the best. So we bring back to one, two, two uh, eyes or boots which are on the side shoots. And of course, after some years, when the main shoots are too, too thick, too old, you can cut down there totally. And afterwards, in the next year, more shoots, new shoots are coming up from the ground. You can see here, for example. And on the top, you bring back the climbing rose about 30% below the level of last year that the, the rose has more room to develop also on the top. This year we hope that this mini climbing rose, a rose easy rose spread by my wife, will go over the top uh, of this uh, garden door at my house. That's all. So easy is it to prune uh, climbing roses at home yourself. The last thing, what is the best time to prune? It's not autumn, because when you are pruning in autumn, you are taking away the leaves which are producing energy. So the best thing is spring, just before the rose is starting, or a little bit after uh, the rose has begun to start. So now it's a little bit too late, it's only to show to you, and now I have time to make a video. But uh, normally the best time is in March, just before the rose is, begi is beginning to start. That's it. Go home and prune your climbing roses the right way.